We are Julia and Sven with our dog Felix and share the passion of traveling. That's why we bought a vintage van that looks like a little lemon to travel the world in. We called her Daisy and in last week's episode we started our two-year trip around the world with her. In today's video we travel to Amsterdam and exchanged the van for another very unique experience. Hey! Luckily we found a nice big parking space because parking with Daisy is not that easy. But it's not even in the city center. Parking is expensive. This is 24 hours. Yeah, we have to do it. We have no choice. <laughs> we rented some bikes to go around Amsterdam and one of them it's Felix. <laughs> <laughs> so Philly. <laughs> uh, I think it's not gonna work like that. <laughs> He's too chubby. Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's, that's better. Perfect. Let's it's hope he size. won't jump out on the ride. <laughs> Please don't kill yourself. <laughs> that's the company we actually rented the bikes from. Rental bike is actually the oldest bike rental in Amsterdam, and that means something. I mean, there are a lot of them right now. Finding a spot to park the bike is actually not that easy. It's really hard, everyone is having a bike here. Yeah, I, I think I actually read that there are more bikes than people in oh, the another Netherlands. Another random Netherlands fact. We are getting some tulips. I think it's not the season for it yet, but still there are a few. We are on a boat in Amsterdam. So nice, such a nice thing. <laughs> and Felix is watching some people. And they are watching him. Captain Sven. <laughs> it's really cool. It's actually pretty fun driving that thing. I really don't like those uh, pedal, pedal boats. boats. I hate it to do that because it's just exhausting and it's not we, that much fun. We take no. them so often. Look at that. I can just... <laughs> We're going by ourselves. <laughs> I didn't know they also had those speed signs for boats. <laughs> we are super slow. <laughs> Sven over there. <laughs> yeah. We are definitely having the full Amsterdam experience. We were a bit scared Felix could kill himself by jumping off the bike, but he didn't. He really enjoyed it. And now he also enjoys the boat ride. I mean, look at him. Watching some doggo ladies. <laughs> so many houseboats. Can you imagine to live on one of these? We really wanted to try it for ourselves, that's why. Today we are having the most unique experience you can probably have in the Netherlands because we are staying on a houseboat! Our very own houseboat. Ready? Okay. <laughs> not no, ready. I'm not ready. Well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. You can do it, come on. Three, two, one. <laughs> so this it's our houseboat for tonight. It was built in 1900 as a merchant boat. Most of the time it was traveling over the rivers to Germany. And right now it's being used as an accommodation for travelers like us. And as a tour boat, doing some dinner cruises and so on. So the entrance area is over here. <laughs> I will just climb it like that. Then I'm on the boat. Our neighbors. This is actually the front door. There's no key or locker or anything. You just slide it out like that. Open the little doors. And look at the steep stairs. <laughs> this is how you get in. I actually fell down there the first time I entered. There you go. Easy as that. the boat 
Festival, we are right in the heart of it, which is the kitchen. Let's go. There's enough space to host at least 50 people, I guess. We got a stove, a sink, two ovens, small coffee machine, and big coffee machine, and a huge bar. <laughs> Would you like to have a drink? Yes, please. Beer. What can I offer you? Beer, okay. There you go. Thank you, Will. So shall we continue? Like I said before, the boat is being used as a tour boat during the summer months to host dinner tours around the rivers and so on. So that's why there are so many different tables and stools all around the boat to host all these people. Now we got enough space to invite all of our friends or maybe please we can invite all of your doku ladies? From here we can go right into the bedroom. So that's it. It's, it's a bed right at the end of the boat. Shall we test it? I think so. <laughs> right next to the bed we got a little couch. And over here is another exit. It's the end of the boat, there's a little wardrobe over here and we have two bathrooms. And I think this is actually my favorite room in the boat because it just sums up how the boat itself is built. It's absolutely crooked and so, I don't know, like uh, steep going downhill. As you can see, all those walls are so differently sized. Everything we need, we got a shower, a toilet and a sink. And it's so distorted, look at it. I mean, there are so many different walls and this one goes into, <laughs> into this corner up here and the, the ground is actually going towards that way. So, so, the, water so the water flows actually into the boat. That's why we have this little thing over here. But it sums up how the boat is built, right? It's so funny. Good morning. We slept really good on our houseboat and surprisingly it didn't shake at all. That was <laughs> good for good you. Good for me, yeah. <laughs> because he's a little seasick. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be too good of a night, but yeah, it was really nice. Cheers. I prepared some breakfast yesterday, so we don't have to make anything this morning. It's a Bircher Müsli, super delicious. Very practical. Show your shirt. Oh, look <laughs> at that. Special Felix shirt. This is my pyjama right now. <laughs> I love it. Keep exploring, guys. Time for a random fact about the Netherlands. The Dutch people are actually the tallest people in the world. And this is so strange because look at those houses. They're so tiny. Yeah, they're so tiny. Look at the door, how, how slim it is. And I mean, the people are so tall and the houses are so, so low. It's crazy. <laughs> then it was time to explore more of Amsterdam. First stop, very exciting. A laundry place! <laughs> yeah, we're almost one week into the travel and we got so much laundry already. So, let's clean it. Yeah. <sighs> Cheers. We already made it to our next but out of the window we can see the beautiful streets of Amsterdam. This city is definitely very special to us, right? Yeah, it's actually the first city we ever traveled to together. Yeah. When we did our first interrail trip, this little train ride all across Europe. And we were 18 years old, like yeah. 10 years ago. <laughs> 10 years ago, yeah. And we had no money, we stayed in cheap hostels. Very weird hostels, <laughs> yeah. We even camped on, uh, on the floor on train stations and it was so much fun. Mm. <laughs> and then a few years later, when Felix was a puppy, we actually moved here for a few months because we just liked the city so much. It's a special place for us, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Ten years ago, we took a photo right here. Right there, it was our first photo on, the, on our travels. Good morning, boys. Good morning. Aww. We had a really good sleep in our beautiful hotel room here. Yeah, nice. Felix is still slumbery. Yeah, he enjoys it. This room is so special. It's a five-star hotel, Kinten de Witt. 
and yeah in the heart of Amsterdam we are actually up for a special mission today we will shoot some content on a Sunday morning 8 a.m. <laughs> and this is the bathroom looks like a mess but it's so special so let's go right Our first spot for today is this beautiful place. It looks so cool with the sun and the reflection of the houses in the background. We will take some pictures and videos. Next spot, Sven is testing our new gimbal. We usually always try to shoot as early as possible during summertime that can be around 6 a.m. or even earlier when the sun rises and in winter it's a bit more relaxed around 7 or 8 a.m. but now it's already 9 a.m. and the light is pretty harsh. Breakfast in 3, 2, 1. Bam! Et voila! So much! So much good stuff! Can't wait! <laughs> Enjoy. Doing my hair this morning was totally worth it. Not. <laughs> we just walked or, or took the bikes outside in the rain and uh, soaked. That wasn't fun. But the city is still beautiful anyways. Bye baby. Felix has to stay alone in the room because we will go to Madame Tussauds. And there are no doubles allowed unfortunately. Yeah. No likes, no likes, no likes for this, this. place. <laughs> we we actually don't go there for the for the wax figures, but for a very nice window. Yeah. Okay, she's not real. Sven already started taking pictures. <laughs> Changing hotels right now. Taking Daisy and you can see a typical issue with those vintage cars. As you can see, the windscreen is kind of, I don't know, like it does see. Um, you don't it's really, see much. It's really wet here inside and if you breathe out, everything gets unclear. So that's how it is. So we found a parking garage that apparently has the ceiling height of 2 meters 70 which we need because our van is I mean it's not that tall but we have our roof rack with the bike on top so it's quite tall it's 270 I drove in and suddenly it's crashed something crashed <laughs> my heart st um, just stood still as it always does when something like that happens <laughs> hi this is Sven from the future we drove into something and it was actually this thing and it yeah. fell down. It fell down on the floor and we didn't realize it. Yeah, we saw it on the way when we yeah. left the parking. We, Two meters. I don't know how it, how it could happen. <laughs> May I present to you a very grumpy Sven? Because he needs to go to the toilet. Was willst du von mir? It's weg. It's always like that. We leave the hotel and 10 minutes later he needs to pee. And if there's no toilet, he will get very grumpy. He's back! Feeling fresh and newborn. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Here we go again! Another public toilet. Guess who had to use it again? Look for today! <laughs> This is a typical example of a beautiful photo I saw online. Now we are here and the photo spot is gone. <laughs> it's gone, but there is another important message. Yes, message of course. The area we are in now is called Jordan. It's definitely less touristy than the center of the city. And there's another area called Pape. The Pape? Pape, yeah. It's basically the same with many nice cafes and small coffee shops and so on. Very charming. The 
boys are super slumbery over here. By the way, this is our new hotel, now at Amsterdam Rai. They are double friendly, which is super nice, but the best part of it is, of course, the bathtub over here. And then we have this amazing view all over the city. Now we are off to something very special that we just cannot miss, which is a traditional Dutch thing. We will go on a cheese tasting. I'm super excited about that. Yeah, we are kind of cheese lovers. Let's try <laughs> to get out of this parking without crashing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I will try my best, but you will help me, right? Yeah, of course. We arrived outside of the city. Uh, I think we just drove around 30 minutes or so and there's a beautiful sunset going on, but it's kind of a storm going on as well. It's really windy and I hope we can sleep to good tonight. That's the uh, current situation. I am making pea soup for Julia. Um, she, she wished for it and she's still working over there. Back to van life, I guess. So good morning. We are at Zanzeschans, which is a neighborhood close to Amsterdam. There are a lot of traditional Dutch windmills, as you can see, and people are still living here. Our night was, I would say, turbulent. It was really windy and rainy, and Felix didn't have the best sleep, I guess. No. But now, it's time to start the day. We are on our way to the north of the Netherlands and it's so crazy windy that our roof constantly blows up. We already had to stop once to put it down again. Okay guys, that's it from this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it or we hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and don't forget to like to like. <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe the video. Yes. <laughs> we should practice that a bit. <laughs> so we're staying at a crane right at the harbor. <laughs> Imagine waking up to this view. <gasps> Push this lever forward. The crane moves to the right. The crane was literally shaking because of the wind. So then I fell down, but I but my hands got a little messy. I will show you the Daisy has some issues since yesterday. Oh yeah.